Miss America Serves Day is a national initiative started four years ago where state and local title holders across the nation have partnered together, teen and miss, to help make a difference. This day specifically is sponsored and brought by Children's Miracle Network Hospitals and as Miss America I serve as the National Goodwill Ambassador. And so to be able to come back to the area that my dream came true and to be able to give back to these hospitals is really important. So you walk down you see the families and the kids and you see the excitement they have and that's the purpose of being Miss America is to give back um, and if you can come into a hospital and the crown can make the child's day then you're doing your job. Tell us a little bit about uh, the children's reaction to the crown. Oh, they were so excited. They wanted to try it on. They wanted to touch it. We made our own crowns. We made our own sashes. Um, so, you know, I get to be Miss America, but they're also royalty as well. Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, and we treat patients and families from all over the world. Anything from an emergency department visit to a long, to a long stay here. It's absolutely amazing. Um, Miss America's here, and she's in our mini room right now. We ordered some sashes. We ordered some crowns. It's a lot of crafts and activities. We crank the music up, and we just have a great party. What does this mean to the patients and their families? It, me it means a lot. Um, part of our mission here in the Child Life Department is to normalize patient and family experience when they're being treated at CHOP. So by providing these special events in our main atrium area, we're able to let them do that. So they can forget about what's happening upstairs, wherever they're at in the hospital, and just come down and have a great time. The partnership with Miss America is great. It allows us to do not only events like this, but also for the Miss America partnership to be a part of our Philadelphia community as a whole. Um, from our local title holders to our state title holders, all the way up to Miss America, it's an amazing partnership. We've had our partnership for over 10 years now. And so started in 2007, so I guess 11 years now. Now. and um, to serve as a National Goodwill Ambassador is so important to me and you know I remember growing up I had a lot of sick family members and so I spent a lot of time in the hospital and it meant the world to me when someone came in and spent time with me and so that's what I hope to give back to them. I got my own crown that a child made, I got my own um, plaque that a child made but you know we got to talk about kind of the battles that they've been through and how you know it's tough days but they're also encouraged and they're inspiring others around them. But as Miss America I say the crown only lasts a year but the impact lasts a lifetime and that's exactly what we did here today. This is Genevieve, she's two and a half years old. Uh, she just had her tonsils and adenoids out about four hours ago. So she's doing really well. What about the visit by Miss America? Uh, it's very exciting. She hasn't had a chance to, uh, to meet her yet, but she just finished her sash and her crown, so she's excited to, uh, to, to get a photo here. My daughter's name is Caroline. Uh, she's 14 years old. She's diagnosed with Crohn's. Uh, she's had it for about seven months. Uh, we came from Miami because we couldn't find the help that she needed down there. So we hopped a flight here, and she's had all the help she could get. She's doing so much better. What do you think of the visit by Miss America? Oh my gosh, she was so excited. She's been in the room for a while, so I kind of got her out, and that was a good way for her to kind of get excited about coming out of the room, so it was awesome. What went through your mind when Miss America crowned your daughter? Oh my God, maybe one day that could be her. You never know. <laughs> it was exciting. My daughter is Kennedy. She's 10 year old. She just received a liver transplant last week. What do you think of the visit by Miss America? It's amazing. It really brightens up the, their spirits. I, I think I think it's amazing. She's so sweet. She's such a, such a kind girl. She really is. What about Miss America's support of the children's hospitals? That's a, it's a perfect platform. I think that more people should take interest in children. They need a lot of support and things to lift up their spirits when they're low and their life is sickness. People like her make it better. I was Miss America 1984 and I'm here um, as a former Miss America to support CHOP and the Children's Miracle Network which is a wonderful foundation that helps raise money for the children all over the country and Miss America has partnered with them since I think 2007 and uh, we give back all Miss Americas all across the nation today and this weekend is our weekend to give back to the community in any way we can. The children are terrific. They have various illnesses and sicknesses and they are bright spirited and they're excited to meet us and we were here to help do some arts and crafts with them and cheer them on in their life and their 
issues. I met a few children that told me they're losing siblings. They're also extremely sick, and it's hard. In this community here at CHOP have wonderful people. There was a woman that I see that her job is to just help them feel better. And the little girl was saying, she always makes me feel better when I look at her, and she offers a kind word to me. And it's just wonderful that people give of their heart to these children that are suffering on various levels. I'm given this platform and a voice to be heard at the national level, but if you don't utilize it for good, then what's the point of having it? It's a reaction that I, I can't describe. We've never had so many people excited for Miss America to come. When she was walking down the stairs, there was just a sea of people, and it was smiles ear to ear from our patients and families to our staff here at CHOP. This is a one-day initiative we're doing, but it lasts all year long as well. And so we want to raise awareness on April 7th, um, but at the same time, it's a nationwide, all year long. We want to give back to our community. What has being Miss America meant to you? Oh. It meant, you know, not being limited. I think for me, I thought I was, you know, never going to become Miss America because I came from a state that never had one. And I realized that night that I won that anything was possible. We're here today at Children's Specialized Hospital in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Children's Specialized Hospital is the leading provider of specialized pediatric care for children from age 0 to 21. Today we have Kara Mund, our, our uh, Miss America, is here with us today. And it's just really exciting because so much of what Kara has done during the course of her life and what the Miss America pageant represents about fulfilling your potential and being the best person you can be is exactly what our objective is for each of our patients, to help them fulfill their potential, regardless of what their disability or condition may be, but to make sure that they get the, the fullest extent out of life that they possibly can. Children come to the hospital from literally all over the country. Uh, primarily, most of our patient population comes throughout the tri-state area, but we every year we will treat children from different countries and different states throughout the United States. Wonderful. Oh, I can still see, right? We're good. <laughs> So as the National Goodwill Ambassador for the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, I'm actually doing a hospital tour. So yesterday I was at the Philadelphia Children's Hospital and today I'm at Specialized Children's. So I'm working with the kids, we're doing some art projects which actually helps with their therapy, but then they also get to spend the day with Miss America and I get to spend the day with them. So we created, we cut a paper plate in half and we created an umbrella and we did a rainbow and I learned my rainbow colors to so make sure I remember uh, from back in the day, but you know, we, we're doing these fun activities and we're making a difference, but at the same time we're helping with their therapy. So, I mean, you see the hope and the inspiration and the fighters that these kids are. And, you know, I know as Miss America that I'm going in and I'm making a difference. Oh, they're so excited to see the crown. They want to try it on. Uh, you know, we're doing our projects and they have so many questions about life as Miss America. We have title holders across the nation, local and state, teen and miss, making a difference in their communities by giving back through a variety of different projects. It says that we are a powerful organization that's willing to give back and we have this commitment to scholarship but also this commitment to service. I think for each of our patients who are here and we have young men and young ladies who are in with us today, um, it really shows them the potential for what can be. Uh, it, uh, Cara's journey to Miss America shows her persistence, her hard work, her dedication to her craft and that's so much what we strive to do on a day-to-day -day basis with our patients in therapy as they work either as an inpatient here in New Brunswick or at one of our 12 different outpatient sites throughout the state of New Jersey. Is to find out more about Miss America, you can just go to MissAmerica.org. If you want to know more about Miss America Serves Day, go to MissAmericaServes.org. And you can join a team, you can join Cara's crew, and together we're going to make a huge impact.